Hey folks, welcome back to another one of my videos. I'm Brendan from Blue Light and over the past several years I've been coaching and supporting people for the police recruitment process. A good three and a half thousand people are now on the job as a result of my support. Check out the links below, it'll take you to my courses and seminars and also a link to my Facebook group where you can get support from 6,000 plus other people who are in similar shoes to you. So welcome to Leeds. Here we are at the location of one of my assessment centre seminars. Just been taking people on a bit of a journey today on how to deal with the role plays, written exercises and the interview phase. A uh, little top tip for you really that um, I hope you don't mind me sharing with you. In the solution phase of the role plays, what we look at is a couple of examples for solutions, options for solutions that you could utilise for enforcement, a couple that you could use for prevention to make sure whatever it is doesn't happen again and uh, at least one thing for advocacy to enable the person who's experienced whatever it is to feel better about that experience. And it struck me that we probably don't check in with the role player whilst we're rattling out these solutions. So one of the things I advocate that you do in between each one of these is ask the question, how do you feel about these options? How do you feel about these solutions? Uh, ditto after prevention and ditto after advocacy before you move into your assess and monitor um, phase, which should round off the role play. You need to get really good at these phrases, folks, and really, really practice, 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 so you can nail as much, as much of it as you possibly can in the five minutes allocated. So once again, a couple of top tips for you. Make sure you check in with the role player and ask them questions about how do you feel about something. Don't be surprised if they say things like, that'll never work, whatever you think is best or is that really the best you can do because those are their scripted lines they've got nothing else to tell you so if you'd like to find out more in terms of the top tips the guidance all the support i provide uh, shameless plug really for my online course and my seminars and my one-to-one -one coaching which will help you nail the day um, i'm so confident in my ability to deliver success for you that if you fail your assessment center after taking part in one of my courses or online coaching or my one-to-ones, if you can demonstrate you've done all the work I've asked of you, I will refund the money you've spent in full, no questions asked. So there you go. I've only given a couple of refunds over the past uh, year or so, and uh, to people who tried their hardest, but for whatever reason just couldn't get through. Um, I've also had one or two people say, can I have a refund? And I say, can you show me that you've done all the work I've asked of you, and they've not been able to do so. So sorry, no refund. You don't do the work. I ask of you, you're not going to get a refund if you fail. But anyway, let's plan to pass, folks, because that's just a very, very small minority. Hundreds of others are passing as a result of this support. So once again, if you'd like to find out more about it, link below. Until next time, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.